Hi guys, this is Sam, and if you're watching this video, uh, you're watching it because you want to see what I'm going to do for a Raspberry Pi project. So, um, I've had some interest in Pi, I really don't know what I'm doing, and I'm going to document my, uh, my process uh, through, through this journey uh, for your benefit. And uh, what I ultimately wanted to do is use a Raspberry Pi uh, for the purpose of like uh, robotics, um, not necessarily like a media server, and that's the journey my daughter and I are going to go down. So, um, if you're not familiar with Raspberry Pi, uh, what it is is it's this uh, little tiny microcomputer that runs on uh, Linux Linux based software, and it's got all sorts of ports on it: uh, USB network, uh, Bluetooth, wireless. Uh, HDMI, audio, uh, eighth inch audio jack, and it's really this little powerful thing. And uh, you can interact with it uh, using some software uh, that comes, uh, like I'm using the Raspbian uh, operating system on this, and I've had it plugged into my TV, and uh, I've screwed around a little bit with it. And uh, I really enjoy it, and I can kind of envision the, uh, the future for uh, robotics. And... So what I've done is I've kind of, I've ordered something that would allow it to be mobile. And in this case, it looks like some German tank tracks uh, that I got off of uh, Amazon from China. Uh, probably more expensive than I really wanted to pay for it, looking at the quality. But it's got uh, some gear motors, some 12-volt gear motors here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two uh, independent electronic speed controllers, and I'm going to have the Raspberry Pi uh, essentially control those speed controllers and uh, move left, right, forward, backward, and whatnot. Uh, also, what I'm going to do is uh, I've got this little US or uh, this GPS uh, USB plug-in uh, that plugged in. I've already successfully written some code to pull the GPS off and be able to allow that as a variable so the programming would let it know at least where it's at. And I'll get into that in depth. Also, I've got uh, a camera on it with uh, some infrared capabilities for night vision but really problem number one is how do you power it and how do you power the motors and get everything that you need and I solved it last night and I wanted to wait until I got uh, at least that bit solved before I went and uh, started doing some videoing so what I wanted to show you is I plan on having um, two lipo batteries 11.1 uh, .1 volts each and I've been thinking about uh, power supplies and how to take that now into like a USB 5 volt, uh, 5 volt power supply. And uh, kind of the first thing that I thought of were the, the guts of a cigarette lighter uh, phone charger for like a car. And what I've done is I gutted that. I changed the LED because I didn't like red. I like blue. Blue looks cooler. And I've created some leads uh, for that. This works. I booted the Pi off of this uh, last night and ran it for a couple hours off the battery. Granted, that wasn't a robot in motion, but um, this is the journey that we're going to go down. I've also found a switch in my old RC stuff, and I'm probably going to put a, a fusible link in there someplace as well. So uh, that's kind of the vision. Um, uh, I could maybe do remote control type of robot, but really what I want to do is something that's a, a bit more autonomous. Uh, maybe something that logs its GPS uh, locations, and uh, we'll figure out where it's at, and logs pictures that it sees, and uh, you can set it to like a GPS fence so that it doesn't go in the neighbor's yard and it tools around. So that's what I want to do.